what is up you guys I am so freaking excited I got a new camera for Christmas and um, it's a legitimate camera it's a legitimate video camera up until this point all the videos that you have seen from me have been recorded on this thing and I am so overdoing that uh, my grandparents got me this camera for Christmas um, Mama, Papa, thank you so much. I literally was like in tears. My hands were like shaking and I was like in tears opening up this gift. So thank you all so much. Um, I went out and actually purchased a tripod for this last night. Um, unfortunately, this tripod that it's on right now is going back to the store. It is a mess. It is the one of the legs is broken. It doesn't want to work. So we're just going to give it a go for this one video. And then I'm going to go out and get me a new one and see how that works. Um, I'm not sure exactly what to call this video, but I know that I want to be, I saw Katie's um, hot new stuff video. Um, if you watch Lester Lux here on YouTube, you know what I'm talking about, but it's her hot new stuff video and um, I kind of want to take a page from that and half of this video is going to be like um, brand new stuff that I've just now started seeing um, and then the other half is going to be like stuff that's been around for a while but there's not a lot of talk about it and usually when you don't hear a lot about a product you associate that with it's not a good product i have four products here who i haven't heard a lot about but they're very 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 good products um and i just wanted to be that person who said hey even though there's not a lot of hype about these you should try them anyway um three of them are actually sample size products that i've gotten from work at sephora um and I'm actually going to be probably purchasing all three of these at some point. Um, the first thing that I'm going to dive right into actually isn't like new new, but it's new to me. And that is the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. And I'm in the shade Medium 52. Because here's the thing about this foundation. Um, the color IQ at Sephora matched me for Light 49. And apparently it matches everybody for Light 49. Um... Unless you are like on what very, very far ends of the spectrum. Um, but most people, I feel like it matches like 49. And that's the one shade that even the Sephora website is sold out of. So I tried out just on a whim to see if uh, medium 52 would match. Matched perfectly. Um, I'm actually going to swatch it. I have it in a little sample container. So I'm using this first before I crack open that big tube. But I'll swatch a little bit of it for you on my hand so you can see exactly what kind of uh, consistency and what kind of shade we are talking about here. Um, it's a very, very thick consistency. So if you don't like really thick foundations, I would not try this. Um, I'm going to be using a brush to point out stuff. This is it right here. This is it. Um, it is very warm toned. I really, really enjoy this foundation. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I wore it all day to the Fayette Mall. If you are in my area and you know where that's at, um, what is a gigantic, very, very loud, hot, bustling mall, and literally it did not budge. Um, the claims on the back of it actually say full coverage, completely 100% true. Um, the 24 hour wear, again, yes. No patchiness, no gathering. Just once it's on, it's on. Um, and then transfer resistant, which I'm sure my boyfriend is going to enjoy. Um, so now when I hug him, my foundation doesn't like rub off on his shirt. Um, matte finish, yes. Fragrance free and oil free. Um, in short, this foundation, you guys, is literally a oily skin girl or guy's best friend. Um, if you haven't tried this foundation and you have an oilier skin type, I really do not know what you are doing with your life because this foundation is the crap. I'm obsessed with it. I probably will never buy anything else because I am that much in love with it. I put off buying it for a really long time just because I didn't really believe the hype. I thought that it was an overrated product. I just figured that I'd find something better. No. Get it. Do it. If you're on the fence, get it. Get a sample of it. Have an associate match you and see what you are try it out for a few days if you hate it cool beans find something else if you love it you know where you heard it first the second thing i got is actually brand new from glam glow it is the glam glow gravity mud new mask and i personally have not tried this yet i have it in this little sample container that i'm going to try tonight um it's a lifting firming kind of anti-aging kind of thing um mud mask and i say mud mask this is it right here you guys 
no joke this is the mask it has a reflective like tin man like quality i was actually watching katie's snapchat and she had this on she kept moving her face and she's like i look like the tin man and my manager danny she put it on her hand and she's just like i wish i had this as a like a makeup of some kind like an eyeshadow and i was like i could see that next thing is actually um one of the newer things from makeup geek and this is actually the only thing from Makeup Geek I actually own. And it is the Makeup Geek Sparkler in Asteroid. It's like a very true gold, light gold kind of um, pigment glitter. Actually, I think it's just a straight up glitter. It's just a straight up glitter. I actually have it on my eyelids right now. And guys, no joke. I am obsessed. I tried to sub this out in my last video. I talked about how this wasn't here yet. And I used the Stila Foiled Shadow. <laughs> Real talk right now, I don't return things to Sephora ever. I would rather stick it out and try, unless I have some kind of like something medical related to it. Normally, I will not return things. I have never returned anything. But that Stila Shadow went back. I literally broke out so bad from it because when I washed my face and the shadow came down here, it literally like scratched my skin and left my skin right in this area very bumpy and very alligator skin like feeling very dry and I am just now getting back over that. I posted that video like a week ago and I'm just now getting to the point where the alligator skin is now gone. Um, so that stuff went back. This is more like a finely milled glitter so it kind of does it doesn't have the gritty scratchy feel that the Stila one did but I'm really enjoying this. Um, I can't remember how much this was. What Makeup Geek actually did was um, they offered a two dollar refund to everyone who purchased one of these um it was like for each one of these you purchased you got a two dollar refund because this is why i'm not taking the lid off and showing it to you is because um there's no sifter there's nothing to control how much you get out of this um and it's very messy so people were complaining and saying that they were losing a lot of product that way so they offered everybody a refund so we all got two dollar refunds for this um I'm fine with it. I love this. Um, this will last me a little while because I don't do this kind of thing very often, but I'm in love with it. Um, that is all of my like new stuff. Um, this next little group of stuff, there's four things and they've all been around for a while, but just no one ever talks about them and I don't really know why. Um, but the first thing kind of goes with the Makeup Geek Sparkler, and it's the sample I have of the Too Faced Shadow Insurance um, Glitter Glue. And this glitter glue, you guys, is no joke. I've only ever really heard one person talk about it on YouTube, and that's Manny. And he used it in his, um, he's probably used it more than for just this, but the first time I saw it was on his, like, coppery, bronzy, um, glittery, smoky eye that he did this past week or two. And I thought, okay, well, I'm, I need some glitter glue. So I went and I got a sample of this while I was at work. And I paired it first with the Stila crap. And it was awful. But then when I paired it with this, forget about it. It was just, I paired this under uh, foiled shadows minus that Stila one. That Stila one, there was no helping. Um, I paired it with some of my more shimmery foiled shadows from my 35-0 Morphe palette. Um... I paired it with really pigmented shadows. I really, really like this, you guys. If you are looking for something like this to hold more shimmery shades to your lid, this is what you need. What I will do is I'll take like this flat brush. This is my favorite brush to do this with. This is the flat detail brush from Coastal Scents. And what I'll do is I'll take this and get take this and I'll get a little bit of glue on the brush and I will pack that right onto my lid and get it as close to my lash line as possible without really touching my lashes and not going up into the crease because I do have hooded lids and that would just make life way too difficult for everybody involved. After I put the glue on my lid, I will then take something like my sparkler and I will dip it into the product and then pack the gold um, glitter straight onto my lid and it has held up all day. I haven't left my house today because it's gross and rainy and disgusting outside. But I, this literally has not transferred. It has not moved. I love it so much. There's no big gaping hole like with the Stila shadow. I'm so really salty about that whole incident. Um, but that's that. Um, again, all this, like, where you can get them, how much they are in the description box below. 
This next product is um, the Kat Von D, it's a sample again, but it's the Kat Von D concealer. Um, it's very, very thick. I actually think it's a little bit thicker than the foundation, um, to be honest. I am not, it really is much, much, much uh, thicker than the foundation, in my opinion. I could be wrong, but in my opinion, it's much uh, thicker. But that is it. I put it under my eyes. I put it under my eyes, like more into like these little, um, I use this brush for pointing, I don't even need to, like right in this area is where I'll put it and kind of like spread it out and then um, disperse it a little bit with a beauty blender. And then right in this area in my forehead and a little bit on my chin where I have a lot of acne scars from high school, um, I put it a lot right there and a lot on my forehead just to kind of give me a little bit extra bump in those places that I need to be lighter in my highlight areas um, but again I don't know how much that is but if you're looking for a more like high-end grade concealer that's more like heavy-duty I would definitely get this one um, the next product has again been around for a while I just hear more about one version of it than I do the other this is the version that I hear all, everything about this is the Urban Decay all-nighter makeup setting spray this is the version that everybody hears about. This is the one that all the gurus use. This is the one that all these makeup artists use. And that's fine. If you're more like um, dry to combination skin type. I mean, heck, I'm oily skin. I use this for a really long time. But um, I just recently kind of bit the bullet and bought the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. I love this one so much more. This combination right here, you guys... A mattifying foundation plus the D slick um, setting spray forget it like it's the best it's amazing <laughs> here again I know I said this before but if you don't have this combo get it because this is amazing um, with this I've noticed the longevity of my makeup is still there but with the added bonus of the areas I lost my pointy <laughs> this little thing is gonna be like my pointer the areas that I get oilier um, like my nose, the little sides of my nose, my forehead, those areas are not as shiny as they were when I was using just the all-nighter spray. It's, I'm a little bit shiny right now, but that's only because I've been like, um, I didn't actually set my foundation like I normally would. I was trying to do more of like a glowy thing because my skin's been so dry here lately, so I was actually going for a more glowy look. So this is pur purposeful. So if you see a little bit of a shine on my face, it's not oil, it's not this failing, it's purposeful. Um, but again, this, I believe, the little sample size, I actually prefer this because I can throw this in my purse and just take it with me and be fine. Um, the, this one was 14 and you can normally get these at Sephora and the little cash wrap at the register and they're about $14. I think the full size is 30 but seriously, if you have oily skin, I would seriously suggest getting this before you try anything else. Um, the last thing on my list is something that I've been thinking about doing for a really long time is how to find your perfect nude lipstick. And this one I just recently kind of put together. Um, I've tried a bunch. And I'm going to swatch these really quickly. Ah, got it on my shirt. Um, I'm going to swatch these really, really quick. Because these are the ones that I've tried in the past that just didn't work out. Um, that were just too much. They were either too dark, too light, something. Um, something happened and they just didn't work out. So what I've done is I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to show you. And I'll post a picture too um, showing you what I've done too. But this one right here, or let's just go from the top. This one here is Cinnamon from the uh, Maybelline... Maybelline Nudes Collection. I couldn't think of what I was trying to say. And it was just too light. It was too cool tone, too light on me. So then I got the NYX Snowcap Butter Lipstick. Again, way, way, way too light. Um, this one is actually Nude Nuisance from the Maybelline Creamy Mattes. Um, it's nice. It's not bad. It's not my perfect match for a nude lipstick. Um, this one is Bow and Arrow. It actually is starting to kind of blend in with Lolita a little bit, but um, Bow and Arrow is like a more taupey brown. Bow and Arrow is just more of like a taupey brown, and it's beautiful, it's just not my perfect nude. Um, the last one here is Lolita, and everybody loves Lolita. 
it's just still not my perfect nude. But finally, finally, yesterday I got this right when I got off work and it is this one on the bottom. And it is the Buxom Lip Foundation in the shade Undressed. This is it. Guys, this is perfect. I have it on right now and it actually looks more natural in the mirror than probably what it looks like on camera. Um, I'm obsessed. If you have not gotten this yet, I think it actually has like a little bit of a lip plumping action to it. Because I noticed my top lip is, looks a little bit fuller than it normally does. So there might be a lip plumping action to this. I'm not sure. I'll post it if I find out. I'll do some research. But if you have not tried the lip foundations yet, I would definitely give it a shot. Because all the lip foundation line is a like nude, like neutral tones, pinky tones, all like nude lip tones. I would definitely give them a shot if you haven't tried them already. Um, I've tried this on four or five different clients and every single person I put it on loved it. If they didn't get it that day, they probably came back and got it another day because it was amazing on everybody I put it on. And then I was just like, you know what guys, I've tried this for a while now. I'm going to buy it myself. I got it. I'm obsessed. This is my new like everyday color. I just, I'm obsessed. So that's it. That's all I have for this video for you guys. Um, let me know how you enjoyed this format. Um, I'm so excited for my camera. I'll post a picture of my actual camera to the video. So if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them in the comments. I love y'all's feedback. Um, that's all I can think of. I really, really hope y'all enjoyed this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Hopefully with a new tripod. I'll see you all in the next one. Have an amazing new year. And I love you guys. Bye. Oh, open it. I just pulled my own hair. Um, I posted that video over two weeks ago. Almost. No, it wasn't. It was like a week ago. Like the areas I get oilier. oilier in front I thought like a piece of fuzz on my nose or something I feel it got it no I didn't I don't know um <laughs> it's not my perfect match I still have that fuzz on my lip it's not um let me see how much time I have left on this camera oh I'm good I'm fine okay